Do you know the second leading cause of lung cancer? The answer may surprise you. Hi, I'm Zach Ravine with the Virginia Department of Health, Chickahominy Health District. Today we're gonna to talk about radon and how to test for it in your home. Radon is a radioactive gas that can leak from the dirt and rocks underground. Radon can get into your house through cracks in the foundation, walls, or other openings, but you can't see, taste, or smell it. After breathing radon in over time, it may cause damage to your lungs and could cause cancer. As we mentioned, radon can have serious impacts to your health. It's the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking, and it's the leading cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. For those that do smoke cigarettes, it can be especially dangerous. So, who's at risk? Anybody. Any home could have radon, and the only way to know for sure is to test. The Virginia Department of Health has short-term radon test kits available for a small fee of $3. While supplies last, these kits are available from October to April at vdhradon.org. So let's take a look at the radon test kit. Please remember, do not open the actual test until you know where to place it and you're ready to start the test. Here are the instructions, registration paper, and mailing envelope. This is the test kit. On the back, you'll find the test kit serial and the registration code. After you look over everything, you can register your test using the paper form or register online. Now we're gonna set up our short-term radon test kit the right way. First, we wanna find the lowest livable part of our home to set up our kits. We'll keep the test away from outside walls at about two to seven feet above the floor, or about minimum 20 inches. For more detailed instructions, please see the guidance included in your short-term radon test kit. The best time of year to test for radon is during the cooler months, like between October and April, when your home is less likely to be ventilated with open windows. Now that we've found our spot, let's open the test kit and leave it untouched for at least two days or up to a week. Be sure to write down the exact dates and times you begin and end your test. If you registered your kit online, you can sign up to get a text reminder when your test is done. Otherwise, you can set a reminder on your phone or calendar. Now that it's been two to seven days, we need to mail our test to the lab. When you registered your test, you can opt to receive the results via email. Let's talk about some things to look for. Keep in mind, the average indoor radon level in an American home is 1.3 picocuries per liter. Now, look at your results. If you're less than two, then there's nothing to do. You should test again in two years. If this is your first short-term test, results between two and four mean that you should retest to confirm results. If this is your first short-term test and the result is between four and eight, you should retest now with either a long-term test or another short-term test. Keep in mind, radon levels change with the season. During the winter months, you can expect the highest radon levels of the year. Also, it's recommended to retest for radon every two to five years, especially if your home is less than 15 years old, your initial test was borderline, approaching 4.0, an event takes place that could create openings in the home's foundation, like home remodeling, having drainage systems installed, or an earthquake. It's not usually possible to reduce radon levels to zero in most homes, but it can be reduced to less than two. If you would like to learn more about how to reduce radon levels in your home, please visit this link to learn more. Thanks for watching this video on radon and radon testing. We hope you learned important information to keep yourself and your family safe. If you'd like to learn more about radon or other health topics, visit the VDH website or your local health department.